All right. Uh, yes, indeed, we're vlogging. It's a lot going on here, okay? And we're vlogging on the big camera. We are being a big girl today. All right, so welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen. I hope you like um, hanging out with me today. And if so, I hope you decide to subscribe and stay. So today, this morning was pretty fun. It was very eventful. We actually had a NAMA interactive with NAMA Well, where it was a couple of us influencers plus a few of their employees and their nutritionists. And we hung out and made some mocktails, which were really, really good. I will put the recipes to the mocktails down below. I tried to film some of it. I just couldn't film like the conversations that were going on because of course I didn't get the approval for that. I didn't even ask anybody were they okay with it, but it was so fun. We, we made two different mocktails. They have few, um, I, I would say a few juice mocktail recipes for the holiday season already posted on the website so if you're interested it's that actually tastes really good definitely check out the NAMA website so we did that th today I feel like I over drank <laughs> I was telling Penny I'm full she was like I'm full too like I feel like we over drank we just it was so good especially the second one the second one was our favorite with the pear I think it was pear and lemon Asian pear, which is like the apple pear, kind of like taste. If you don't can't find Asian pears, just do pears with apples, right? A little bit of lemon, some ginger, and we added cinnamon. Oh my god, it was so good. So that was fun. That was good. We make the glasses kind of pretty and festive, and just get into the holiday season and to feel included. Like for those of us who aren't drinking, but you want to have like a fun, festive, beautiful cute cocktail right that you can still juice during the holiday season right so anyway yeah so we did that we started this morning with cleaning up because i decided to go ahead and move my sofa from upstairs down so that is the big the big huge like gray sofa i put it back down in the living room i just do a pan around so you can see what it looks like for like right now it's just going to like a sofa in an empty space with a tree because originally i was going to work with this company and it was going to take about four to six months for a sofa to be, you know, custom basically made with the fabric that I picked out and whatnot. And we found out that the fabric, what they had remaining wasn't enough and that it was discontinued. So they wanted me to pick a different color. They basically wanted me to choose a color that they had in abundance, which was a orange light -like color. It wasn't like cognac leather brown. It was like basically orange. And it was sectional but it wasn't leather and I was like oh my goodness it's gonna peel on us we have animals you know have kids I really don't want to yeah so I just kind of like was we part ways on a good note and was like yeah it's not gonna work for us so I decided for the holidays at least to bring that sofa down and see if I could build something around it even though I love it upstairs that's our chill space that's where we hang out sometimes just relax but since I have the sofa in my room the kids all have their chairs in their room we have a sofa in this room, which is the chill space with the TV and whatnot. And speaking of, I think the coffee table too big to be in here. And it might just look like that because of the trees in here right now. I think I should get that slim table like they have like at Ikea. Let me know your thoughts. They like this table. I don't know. I think they just like it because it's decorated and it's cute. I bet if I moved this table and it was that slim like black with the glass, they wouldn't even... Probably wouldn't even know. But they like having a table here. I think because they sit here with like fruit or something watching TV and it's somewhere to put it on. So I might do that for this room. But that would be it. Everything else is already done for this room. I told you all the console table works out perfect for us. It's nice. It's heavy. It's from Tribe Signs. The leather sofa in here is huge. They love to lay on it. Um, actually, I have another glass table that matches this glass table over here. I need to paint it and put it on the other side. But other than that... Yeah, this room, I'm not doing anything to this room. Now, as for upstairs, now that the sofa is down, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but right now is the time. Like, everything's on sale, and there's a few things on Tribe Times I really want, like, for different rooms and for different reasons, and their Black Friday sale is ridiculous. Like, when you go on Amazon and type in Tribe Times, and see the prices of their bookshelves, and especially with me knowing how heavy and sturdy these shelves are, or how heavy that console table is. Like, it's crazy that some of these items are like $98, $50, and 
125 like I saw a nightstand for like $57 and I'm thinking if it's anything like the quality like for teenagers and kids or whatever like this or guest rooms right or some people just might like the smaller middle like nightstands you know I know I have a cabinet so I'm a little extra but that's why I store my perfumes too I just feel like the sale they have going on right now is crazy so I want to take advantage of that and either get another large desk for upstairs. I think I'm end up getting a large desk. The reason why I say it's a lot going on is some things I'm working on for the new year and I need like an office space. But I'm trying to figure out how can I have the bookshelves that's there, right? The bookshelving with all my books. How do I have a nice substantial size desk because that small one in the corner is not working out for me. I do not like it. I never sit there. It's just, it's just there. I, I hate that desk. It's just there. And I also have like a small seating, maybe small seating, seating. I'm thinking of like, you know, you have a bookshelf, you have a desk in front of it. In front of that is two chairs, maybe that swivel so I can turn around and then watch the TV. So <coughs> basically, sorry, this wall is a TV, right? And then in front of this wall, when you come this way, it's two swivel chairs so you can watch TV or you can turn around and be in a conversation with the person who's at the desk. The desk, the chair, and then the bookshelf. I think that might be what I end up doing. It won't happen all at one time, but it's just something that's in my, my head right now. Uh, but I need to paint the wall. The wall uh, from when I took some of those hook, no, not hook, hang hooks. What do you call those 3M strips? And I went to pull it, but it was the target version and it pulled that paint right off the wall now <laughs> so I need to paint the wall first put that bookshelf back there I also need to paint the hallway because yeah we were bringing the sofa down we were letting the sofa slide down I should say because that sofa is huge and very heavy that's why my shoulder and my neck hurt and I put a hole in the wall so I need to patch that wall it's not bad but it's, it's there <laughs> I need to patch that wall and just come up with what I plan on doing down here. So there is a small entertainment. I say it's small, but it's really not that small. It's like 60 something inches wide. I need to bring that entertainment back downstairs, put it back against the wall where it was originally underneath the TV and just have it down here. And this won't be an entertainment upstairs. It'll just be a TV floating on the wall, right? Because it's not enough room. I don't think it's enough room. So it's a lot that's going on today. It's just a lot, but... Like I said, this morning was so fun. We were able to make these drinks. I did some close-ups of the drinks so you can see what they look like and get an idea of like, you know, just get the holiday spirit, but also stick with your your healthy eating, your healthy drinking. But yeah, I hope this camera's not going in and out because y'all know I'm, I'm learning how to use it. I'm trying to vlog with it. I want to show y'all this, um, this, what do you call it? desk I thought about getting from I wonder if I put it in my basket it's on Amazon it's on Tribe Signs too it's on Amazon I need to get a microphone for this camera I need to get a some SD cards y'all I gotta get another lens because the lens is I think this lens is made mainly for shooting like the uh, video for photos not videos yeah, see this desk? Like $135 and it goes in my bookshelves. Like, are you serious? So, I don't know if it'll let me do this. Yeah, I just want a simple desk. Just simple, nice desk. Yeah, that was cool. All right. Gotta see where to look at on this camera. But they had that one. Then they had this other one. But I think it's too much going on with this one. This one got a little bit too much. It looked a little masculine. So, that's a no. I still want it to look feminine and soft, but yet... Um, like I don't want a big bulky desk. I don't want a big bulky desk. This I know. I still want it to look like the room to still be kind of airy and light or whatever. I don't want it to be heavy in there. And yeah, I went ahead and added um, the nightstands as well as all of our shelving into that one link on Amazon. So as I find things, buy things or whatever I'm doing, I'll just have them so you can... Um, always go back and reference on that tribe sign link under Amazon but y'all it's crazy like the bookshelf that's in my bathroom is like 127 it was 150 the bookshelving that was in my kitchen was 159 it's 135 like they're just everything is just on sale if you go to the website the more you buy on the website 
the more they take off. So I'm loving that. Let me show you these chairs, right? So these are the A&G Swivel Barrel Chairs. It's a set of two. Um, yeah, this is it. These right here. So it'll be like in front of the thing, but you can swivel them around. So I'm thinking, so I'm thinking those are too big. I know those are too big because originally I want those for my bedroom. I will link them in my Tribe Sign store. Are they, are they in there? I think they're linked already, but I oh know they're not. Is this in my Tribe Sign? Hmm. Anyway, they, there are several swivel like chairs that I was thinking about like actually purchasing. But the thing about those is that they are, how do I say this? They are, they're large and they, they'll look too big in front of the desk. They'll look too big in front of the desk. So I didn't, I, I just need something that is of, like still along the lines of the scale. So two chairs in front that can swivel around. Yeah, I'm looking for like scale to fit the desk. And I don't want the big desk like we had before. We had a table. I had a huge white table I used before as a kitchen table as a desk, but at the time I was homeschooling. So, you know, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want the big, the big huge desk. I want it to be nice and simple. I say that, but who knows? I might actually find a, a nice size desk to put in there. And like I said, these Black Friday sales are selling. So, all right, I guess I'll go upstairs and get everything that's on the, in the cabinet out. And then from there, Move that cabinet downstairs, show you what it looks like against this wall down here. I might even move this coffee table in there. And if I see one on sale, because Amazon is so much on sale right now with Amazon, I might just order a slim uh, coffee table in here. I don't even think it has to be glass. I think it could be the same gray as that gray console table that's in here. I don't know. What are your thoughts? I know as we pick up things, I'll share with you all, but I need to bring that downstairs Clean it up, put it over here against the wall. I'm going to move this table anyway. No one's here for the week anyway. And if I order anything off of Amazon today or tomorrow, it'll be here in two days. So they'll still have a coffee table. I forgot how about a tablet for the kitchen, for like recipes. I forgot how about the like these little boxes, school supplies pens and color pencils and stuff in here. I'm about to figure out some creative way to, ooh, I know what I can do. I can put like a file jar in this, in this corner back here where my desk is currently. These um, boxes actually came from Marshalls or Ross. I like this, probably Ross. I like this color, I don't know, whatever. I actually have some big ones too, but yep, this stuff perfect time to get rid of stuff. This is a marble post-it holder. These are lights for your phones. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a... I don't know if this one works. It's a terabyte. USB terabyte. I don't know if it works. I hope so. so I, I, since I'm going to be using this camera. Oh, I need this right now. My shoulder is bothering me. This is that massager. I still use it. Yes, I do. So, I'm going to clean out all this. And, oh my goodness. I was trying to keep the boxes of my perfumes because at the end of the year, I like to do a, a whole, like, um, what I bought in a year or what I received in a year. But, shoot. I, I can't keep all these boxes. There's too much stuff. Too much stuff. Yeah, I remember during um, COVID or whatever, during lockdown, basically, I was doing all these uh, coloring books. Oh, my goodness. I love these coloring books. They are so relaxing. I just said I want to get back into um, coloring with my markers. But they were so, it was just very relaxing. Oh, like for stressful days or whatever. Let me show you one. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. I was looking for these. You can get these on Amazon. They come in this clear color. They come in black. They're dirty. But these are my fake gazelles or whatever that I wear during the 90s parties that I go to. <laughs> 
I love these. They are so fun. So I have them with the clear and gold, and then I have them with the black. But they're actually sturdy enough, but you can't put... I wouldn't put a lens in here. Would I put a lens in here? They're sturdy on the side, but... They were like two for $12 these packs. I might just start wearing them for just for fun. But I was looking for those. I was looking for those. So, yeah. What else is in here? Uh, you might remember when I did uh, the review of the glass company. Oh, my goodness. I, of course, I can't think of the name. But I have a, a bunch of friends that wear glasses. And so all the ones I did not want or did not need, I, I backed up a bunch for a giveaway at one point, but I also gave them to them and dropped off a bunch of lenses so they could have like some extras to put their lenses in. I always say like you just ship them off or you can get them at like Costco. They're really cheap to put your lens inside. These are the old school ones. Y'all remember these? These type of lenses. Yeah. Love these, so I kept a few. I actually kept quite a bit. I have some more in the other cabinet, um, in like these boxes. So, this is one of those wands. They were on QVC years ago, and my dad bought this for me so that I could, when I was studying and I would go to the library and I didn't want to pay all that money for all the research books or whatever, I would use the wand and you can save it and and plug it to your little SD, like the little drive right here and I would go and scan all the books <laughs> that I need to read like the chapters and then use my my cord to put it on my computer and read them on my laptop that's where I got this from I don't know what else to do with this it is it's called viewpoint y'all might remember these if you shop on um, it's a scanner if you shop on QVC like we used to me and my daddy shop on QVC and HSN like crazy girl and I can tell I'm getting low because you see how you can see through the tube now yeah I gotta do better but it's so good mm, it feels so good on my lips All right. oh my god we got work to do so I'm gonna finish where I left off yesterday and that was cleaning these shelves so I already cleaned that one off I went ahead and moved the this thing back downstairs like I said I was going to do and it looks kind of small on camera yeah it's really not that small it's actually 70 um hold on let me find me something to listen to or to just chill with while I'm cleaning up real quick um maybe some Christmas music yeah so it is it's 63 inches wide and then of course I have the shelving which is the Ikea shelving I'll link them down below, but I need to go ahead and clean up in here and finish dusting off the shelves. This one's dirty. I've already done that one over there. So, yeah.
need to patch these like holes on the wall. So I ordered some stuff this morning. I'm gonna pick it up from Target in a few minutes. I'm gonna patch these holes and I really don't feel like painting today. So let me show you. Uh, it's so much stuff on the floor. I really can't show you. I have to get some papers on the floor too. But it's like books um, that go on this shelf right here. So I was thinking originally. putting a bookshelf right here and then the desk right here front or whatever but I changed my mind to show you what I'm gonna do so I'm actually gonna put the bookshelf back on this wall after I fix the wall and touch up some paint I'm going to put let's see if I can pull y'all down just a little bit so after I put the bookshelf back on the wall I'm gonna set the desk in front of it right a chair behind the desk and this wall that I'm facing right here We'll have like the TV and hopefully like I told y'all these swivel chairs one day. So on this wall it's a bunch of holes I need to patch over there too. I just have my mini skinny tree in here. It was so cute with this couch or whatever but we're going to make it to what it needs to be which is an office space. So in the next I would say like 10 days or so this room should be just about done. I just need to figure out some things. Actually I wanted to see if my diploma would fit on these shelves or not. Hold on, let me grab a diploma. I was thinking about it. Yeah, it does fit. All right, so I just need to clean up. So loud in here. That tank is so loud. Hold on. All right, so Christopher isn't here, so I need to feed his turtle real quick. I know, the tank is dirty, trust me. I know the tank is dirty. <laughs> You don't have to tell me. It's going to be clean. I don't know how it gets so dirty. This is Jordan. Jordan, go eat. That's water. It's, um, can y'all see Jordan? Hold on. You gonna see Jordan? That's Jordan. See what I told y'all. He's gonna try to get out when I come over here. I told y'all that. Every time I go to Jordan's tank, he tries to come out. Like, literally tries to jump out. Every time. He wants someone to, um, like, pick him up and walk around the house with. I I'm not her. What do you do with the plug? Oh, I need to get a tapper. So. Alright. Here is Christopher's. Christmas tree for his bedroom that I didn't share with you all yet. Um, we didn't put any presents or anything under his tree. This is what it looks like. So, all right, I had to turn the lights off because it kept trying to focus on the lights. So this is his tree, and uh, I'm gonna show you what I did for his tree. For Christopher tree, I told you all I buy the garland, and I just cut the garland and I just stuffed it in here. And then stuffed all his people. That's all I did. And a few hats and like a just a few balls. Not a lot. Because I told y'all he didn't want balls this year on a tree. He just wanted like the people. And that's what he has. The people. His um, little elf people on a tree. And that's it. So we ran to Five Below after we went to Lowe's to get the paint for the wall. We went to Five and Below and they had these cute little cups. They say they are um, keep cold and hot, double wall, high quality, I don't know. I don't think it says how cold for how long or how hot for how long. I got this one, the ceramic one, that you can like heat up. It's like a like a regular mug, the ceramic, but it's made like a coffee tea mug. So I got this one. 
from five and below. Oh, it doesn't say what it is. This is ceramic travel mug to go with my other green mug. So I got a water mug and a coffee mug. Now, what else we picked up? I got the paint I needed for. Let me see if I can pick y'all up because it's not gonna work. They're gonna be like, man, we can't see you. Well, I did pick up the paint. I took a swatch off the wall like that was spilling and they were able to match it at Lowe's. So I'm gonna go and fill those holes and kind of like paint over those spots instead of painting the whole wall. So that was cool. I was able to do that. I got some black paint for the table. I need the paint that goes into this room. It's the same table we have on the other side. It's just that I took it out of Tara's room but she had that gold table. I'm gonna paint it black. So we have matching tables on both sides, so I don't have to buy tables, uh, end tables in here anymore, and because she has the nightstand now. So we have that. We picked up. We went to Ross because I was trying to look for a rug at Ross for the, I guess now, office area upstairs, or for the big room in here. And I saw some rugs, but I just didn't really see anything I just really, really wanted. So I figured I just wait. Yeah, I figured we just wait. What do we get? Nothing? We just got a sweater? You got yeah, something? Oh, oh well. Penny got a, like a little hoodie pullover. This pullover is heavy for like $10, but anyway. That was a good buy. Oh, Ross. <clears throat> oh yeah, some more of these for the jury um, organization for her beats or whatever. They had these for like three ninety nine, dollars which is cheaper than anybody I've ever seen. Yeah, they three ninety nine dollars for these. And it has 32 compartments for all those tiny glass beads, so that's good. Then, I was looking for these. This is what we were looking for. This is the reason why we kept going from Ross to Ross. I found these stoneware bowls, and I really want these. These are the Soho Loft Bowls, so I'm going to have to just go back to Ross the next couple of days and see if they get a shipment of them. And then maybe try this other Ross that's not too far. Like, what time is it? It's still early. Yeah, maybe I'll go try that one later. I was hard for I'd come home. So, they're like this. I don't know if y'all can be able to see. It's like stone. So hold off. Just wash your microwave safe. But they're not as big as the ones I already have. But they're like, um, it has like these little specks. Yeah, it's like stoneware. And so just like the regular bowls. So I got two of those because they come two in a pack for four ninety nine. But I know what it was. We went to Ross to get that other, and I was gonna get the glasses and the line was too long. We have the raw honey infused with cinnamon, which is pretty good. We just got rid of them. So this is what we went for. We went to get more of these because they have a lot of these in store right now. Yeah, so they have these in like blue, pink, and gray in store. So we have the big ones, we have the short ones. So we, we was in line to get another pack of these, but they're $9 for a pack of four. You can find them at like, uh, what's the other store? Uh, Home Goods too, but Ross had these. I like the gray ones. The gray ones are really cute, but you know, it's got the clear ones. But anyway, the line was too long. And y'all know how it is in holiday season. I wasn't standing at line. But I am going to go to Crate and Barrel website and just order some more of these too. The ones from um, that Nama sent me, these are all Crate and Barrel. So I'm definitely going to order some more of these online. Probably today. Alright, so we went to Target because I needed some more cleaning products. And I got some more of the Mr. Clean for the floor. I actually need to put this in a spray bottle. I saw Sherika B talking about the spray bottle. I know about the spray bottle with the unstoppable scent in it. But this is the one you're supposed to dilute with water anyway. So I just, I always put this in a spray bottle or whatever. But I think the one she has maybe foams. I don't know. And it's clear. But this is what we buy for the floors. All the Mr. Clean, all the light saws. They had Tilex for $3.99, so you know it's going to be like 5 something. So they had this at Target for $3.99, so I went ahead and got this for our bathroom to clean up all our showers. And the shower walls real good. I got the spackle. It is fast and final. So this is, yeah, now you can see. This is what I'm going to use to fill the holes of like all the nails and everything, whatever was on the wall. So you, you squeeze it in. 
you use this to uh, you know scrape it to make sure whatever so yeah I'm gonna use this it dries fast too I got some apple cider vinegar you mix this like one part this one part water for yeast for dogs so the plain plus ear I got some more of the plugins for the bathroom this these, we use these are the one that says wood these are the scents we use so this is the unstoppable breeze plug whatever for both bathrooms and then I only got one pack of these because they were saying they didn't have them but we found them on the end cap. right now at Target I want to say these are five nine six nine nine for this two pack right but there's a two dollar off coupon and it been like four ninety nine for these whatever not that big of a sale so because I think everywhere else they're cheaper but I got the vanilla and warm caramel caramel and this is Airwick. Yeah, I got these. So I think that's it. I tried to do a pickup order so I wouldn't buy anything and still walk in here and buy stuff. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm about to fix me something to eat and then get back busy upstairs so I can spackle the wall and paint that wall with all the holes. And then once it dries, I'll put my bookshelf back and put my books on the shelf and we'll end this vlog probably there so Alright y'all, so that is it for me today. I will see you all on the next video. I noticed when I was editing that this part of the video is kind of blurry, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it short. But thank y'all for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate you all. I will be trying to get a few classes in the next couple of days on this camera. So I'll be back with greater and better content for you all. See you on the next one. Peace and blessings.